Hello, thank you so much for coming back to watch this week's Dollar Tree Gold. I'm sorry, my bathtub's draining and I know it's probably super annoying. It will stop here in just a moment. But anyway, uh, this week's Dollar Tree Gold is about the Echo Tools um, face mask remover sponges. So, face mask, and sorry, it's super hot in here, so, you know. But yeah, I want to show you how well these work and how well they take off a dry, crusty clay mask. So. If that sounds like it's going to be up your alley, then please keep on watching. Just so you know, I do upload a daily video all about budget beauty, and I also do a live stream the first Sunday of the month at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, check out my uh, communities tab, that way you don't miss out on the daily uploads and the live streams, so yeah. Okay, so I do a, I try to do a face mask once a week if I'm not super busy, twice a week, and I love clay masks. So the one I used is the Shea Moisture African Black Soap Clarifying Mud Mask. This stuff is bomb. And uh, anyway, but they can be kind of hard to get off because um, they get pretty dry. I know I got some sweaty bits, but it is mostly dry. And uh, so these make um, these mask remover sponges are premium spa quality. Sponges that are designed to quickly wipe away facial masks, mess-free, made from wood pulp. These sponges boost the effectiveness of your mask by gently exfoliating the skin for a smoother, more radiant appearance. It's natural cellulose, fragrance-free, and 100% vegan. So, yeah, there we go. Okay, so I'm super excited about these. So, all you do is you get it wet with a little bit of warm water. And this is gentle exfoliation. It's not going to be rough or anything. You ready? Let's do this. Uh, it just gently helps to take away the mud mask. Because I've got pretty large pores. And Sorry. i got to rinse it. We'll just edit out me rinsing the sponge, but I've got pretty large pores, and there's been some times that I actually get mask stuck down into a pore. But yeah, it just... It's crazy. They're a little bit rough, not super rough or anything. But it just totally takes away the the mask. Look at that. Makes quick work of removing a clay mask. I think these would be also really, really good for actually cleansing the skin. Totally clean, but yeah, these are really really nice. What's nice too is that they rinse clean and they're reusable Obviously, I would change them out every so often make sure that you put it you rinse it really really well I would I would clean them. I, I clean mine like twice a week um, But these are really really cool, and I, I'm surprised I haven't thought of these before I did notice that Dollar Tree has their own brand of these little mask remover sponges you get two of them um, in both the Dollar Tree and the Echo Tools. Um, I went with the Echo Tools because it is name brand. Sometimes I'm a name brand snob, but these are really, really awesome to remove face mask easily, effectively, and quickly. It totally gets out of the pores. Oh, right there on my nose. <laughs> but yeah, these are great. So yeah, if you're looking for another skincare item to add to your routine. If you have a hard time getting face mask off, kind of like I do sometimes, if it gets stuck down into pores or whatever, or in your texture, then yeah, I would definitely recommend the Echo Tools um, mask, mask Remover Sponges. Really, really good quality. 
um, and I like them a lot. I'm going to continue to purchase these as long as Dollar Tree has them, and if they don't, then I will try the Dollar Tree ones. So, let me know down below if you want me to get a pack of the Dollar Tree and compare the two, even though they're the same price, but maybe not everyone's Dollar Tree has these, and, but yeah, anyway. Yeah, I'm super excited, and I just wanted to share how awesome these are, so I hope this wasn't too boring. I know it wasn't super entertaining, but sometimes I probably do bring things to light that you probably don't know you need, but you maybe do, so there we go. But yeah, I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, please go ahead and give the video a thumbs up and share it. Leave a comment down below and let me know if you've picked up any of the mask remover sponges. And what do you think of them? Do you like them? Do you think they were a waste of money? Let me know down below. And just so you know, I do have a Macari page where I sell discount makeup, beauty, skincare, hair care, all sorts of stuff. I also have another YouTube channel where I upload seven days a week all about budget food. And I also have a little Facebook group where we kind of hang around and uh, chat and we'll post our good finds and stuff. So I'll have all three linked down below for you. And of course, you're always welcome to follow me on my other social media. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, it's all a bunch of glam, babe. Don't go anywhere quite yet. Another video should start autoplaying here very shortly, or you can always click on the ones that'll be popping up around the screen. But yeah, I'll see you here in just a second.